What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dennis Narichu live at Narichu Basketball HQ. Yeah, man, we are into Group D. Group D had Nigeria, South Sudan, Mali, and Rwanda. This video, we're gonna look at Nigeria. They played six games, won all six games, lost zero games, have a win percentage of 100. And uh, yeah, man. They went unbeaten. Let's get to it. So Nigeria. So Nigeria, we got we got our top leaders. Ike Orio Eg, Iro Egbu, excuse my pronunciation. Who have who had an efficiency rating of 15.2, but Ek Diogu, he had an efficiency rating of 13.3. Got Keith, he had an efficiency efficiency rating of 12.3 okay points per game we've got ek iro egbu he had 13.2 points per game we've got ek followed by ek diogu he had an efficiency rating of a 12.5 good caleb agada he had an efficiency rating of a non efficiency rating excuse me points per game of 10.3 points and the rebounds per game again we have Ek Diogu, you can see this guy was second in points in his first in rebounds, 6.2 rebounds per game. Got Amaze Ege Keze, he had 5.5 boards per game. Got Chima Moneke, he averaged 5.3 boards per game. Yeah, man, these guys are pretty good. Ek Orio Iro Egbu, five assists per game. You can see this guy, he led in points and assists. Ibo Emegano, he averaged 3.3 assists per game with Ben Uzo with 2.3 assists per game. I mean, pretty good, pretty decent numbers for this tournament. And uh, yeah, and you know the drill, we gotta look at what we, they did previously in the, in the other competitions that they took part in. We got the 2017 FIBA Apple Basket, they came in second. So this shouldn't be a surprise to see them go six and zero oh because they know what it takes to win an Afro basket. In the 2015 Afro basket, they came in first. They won it all. In the 2012 FIBA World Olympic Qualifying Tournament for men, they came in third. 2011 FIBA Africa Championship for men, they came in third. 2007 All Africa Games Tournament for men, they came in third. 2005 FIBA Africa Championship for men, they came in third. 2003 Africa Championship for men they came in second. A 1999 Africa Championship for men came in second. 1999 All African Games Tournament for men they made it to the preliminary round and they were third. 1997 Africa Championship for men they were second. 1995 Africa Championship for men they were third. So you can see these guys have a pedigree of competitiveness they get these guys know what they're doing in the court these guys know what it takes to win so them going six and no is not a big surprise because that's what we expect from them nigeria is an elite team you can see even in the nba draft you can see nigerians in the nba so yeah that goes to show you their work ethic and how, how much dedication they put into the game yeah man thursday 26 november 2020 late 2020 we had Nigeria go up against South Sudan they beat South Sudan 76 to 56 I believe that's a 20 points they blew out Sudan Saturday 28 November 2020 Nigeria matched up against Rwanda blowing them out 83 to 62 this was all taking place at the city arena in Kigali so yeah that was that they Rwanda lost the game in their home court. They had home court advantage the whole Afro basket qualifiers the first the first time but uh yeah man they lost that game to Nigeria. Sunday 29th November 2020 we got Nigeria matching up against Mali. Nigeria blew out Mali 91 to 68. This was just a trash fashion. These guys weren't here to play around, they went 3-0 in the first in the first part of the Afro basket which is in Rwanda 
we weren't here, we didn't come here to play around. We came in to bring a fight, and uh, they brought the fight to the other teams. Yeah. Then they met, and they then these teams met again in f late February. And you already know, Nigeria matched up against South Sudan. This was, this match was in Tunisia, and you already know Nigeria won that game, but South Sudan won no blow now. This, it was a pretty close game. It was a five-point game. Then we got Nigeria matching up against Rwanda. So you already know Nigeria won that game, but it was pretty pretty close. So the there are the Rwanda guys were not dominated as much. And uh, you already know Nigeria matched up against Mali, and Mali was at the receiving end of a blowout. Nigeria won 76 to 56, rounding out Nigeria's record to six and zero. Oh, had a perfect record. Nobody, and I mean nobody, could beat them. So yeah, man, I, I feel this team is pretty good. They have what it takes to win, and uh, they're undefeated. They have joined the elite club of teams that were undefeated. Tunisia, they joined. Man, I mean, these guys have joined Tunisia. They have joined. I mean, they joined Angola, and uh, no, not Angola, Cote d'Ivoire, I believe Cote d'Ivoire, sorry, Angola lost two games, and uh, I believe they, I believe they're in that elite club, let me check it up, let me check it up, Tunisia went unbeaten, so they joined Tunisia, they joined Cote d'Ivoire, and now Nigeria, and Egypt, which, are, which this, that's the team we're going to look at. In the next video so yeah this team has the ability to go all the way and win it all I have no doubt that this team can win it all because they have shown us that they have what it takes to do it yeah man if you like the video like the video leave a comment on what you what you think about Nigeria's team and uh, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on Turn on notification posts so, sh so that you never miss any of the new videos are, that are going to be dropping. And yeah, man, till next time, stay tuned.